thank them enough. Hey, some other folks who recently said thank you here in DeKalb County were some kids. Some kids who had a smile on their face at Christmas time thanks to some generous hearts. Our own DCTV's Aviva Hoffman is here to tell us about it. That's right, come on, come on, ladies and gentlemen. It's once again the tree of love here at South Carolina. Hundreds of local children are still recounting fond Christmas memories, thanks to DeKalb County's District 3 Commissioner, Larry Johnson. His annual tradition of holiday gift giving to needy youngsters with his Tree of Love initiative marked a decade of service this year. This is 10 years. I want to go another 10 more years and make this thing possible for our community and really do it up because DeKalb County is a giving county. We're giving people. It's all about making a difference. That's what keeps me going. This holiday celebration assists children in DeKalb and the metro area who, because of their circumstances of living in a low-income household or being in foster care, may not otherwise have a Merry Christmas. Lots of good people came out to the gallery at South DeKalb Mall in November to choose a tag with a child's name from the Tree of Love. They then purchased a gift and returned it before the December program when all the goodies were distributed. The Department of Family and Children's Services provides the names that decorate the tree. It's the individuals and community groups that help fulfill the wish lists of hundreds of children. Because what these young people are asking for is not a lot. Some are asking for t-shirts, socks, a little toy. You pick the name off the tree, you bring it back on December 19th. There's lots of love for this special tree. In fact, several youngsters volunteer their time each year to help make the program a success. We selected three names off of the tree. We voted and decided to support three children. And we're going to go purchase the gift that the student wrote on their card or their parents because one, we have three months, we have a three-year-old, and we also selected a 15-year-old. If people would reach out and touch one of these children, no matter what age, no matter what preference, no matter what creative creation, this young man sleeps good, eat good every night. He's happy. It's not his fault what happened to his parents or whatever in the past. Children don't have fault. Participants of the Tree of Love know this program is having a big impact. It's a time to give back, to collect gifts for uh, kids who really need it. And I'm so glad to have had an opportunity year after year to be a part of this important initiative. The Lou Walker Senior Center Choir helped kick off this year's December finale for the Tree of Love program, where needy kids came out to collect lots of holiday cheer. This is what the season is all about. The choir is beautiful. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for the giving that you give to make the season right. This is what it's really about. This tree of love has blessed hundreds, if not thousands, of children and families throughout DeKalb County who are most in need. The holiday cheer continued with trained dancers. some spontaneous dancers too. Man, it feels so great. I mean, you see the young people, you see the families, you see the gifts, the love that we're giving out. You just see the volunteers who are here to make a difference in our community. That shows that DeKalb County has a heart. As a young person, um, as a very observant young person, it's very easy to see the need for support in my community. At just as love is contagious, just as hate is contagious, community service should be contagious as well. Commissioner Johnson organized the first Tree of Love event in 1999, and it's continued to grow ever since. Every child got adopted for the holidays. Over the 10 year, 10 year period, it's been over 5,000 children. So I'm excited. Thank all the sponsors and everybody who's watching this program who contributed. God bless you. Preparations are already underway for the 11th annual Tree of Love. If you'd like to learn more about the event, call the office of Commissioner Larry Johnson at 404-371-2988. Aviva Hoffman, Inside DeKalb. Commissioner Larry Johnson's office says the final numbers are in. The Tree of Love initiative was able to help 
467 children have a merrier Christmas. And I know the goal is to help even more children next year. That's something you can smile about all year round. More Inside the Cab is coming up. Stick around.